Hello and welcome to another Blu-ray unboxing video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after more than 90 years, Todd Browning's Freaks has finally come to Blu-ray. I can get rid of my tired DVD copy, uh, even though it is a great, you know, a great copy with a lot of supplemental information, which I believe most of, uh, if not all of it, has been carried over to this Blu-ray release. Uh, but finally, Freaks on Blu-ray. I have no idea what took it this long. It's almost in the damn public domain at this point, but uh, here we are. Criterion went ahead and released it, and I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, I had this thing pre-ordered since fucking July. It came out on Tuesday, and Amazon just got it to me at uh, 5 o'clock on Thursday. Not, not a big fan. Probably the last Amazon pre-order I will ever uh, buy. It's just... It's quicker to just wait until the shit comes out and buy it that day. Uh, screw pre-ordering. I will hold my money until the product is released from now on. Uh, but alas, here it is. Uh, let's take a closer look at some of these supplements, which there, are, there's a, there's honestly far too many there. Uh, you do get uh, audio commentaries, which are the same from the uh, the Freaks DVD. Uh, you get a, a podcast, an archival documentary. A prologue to freaks, uh, video galleries. Uh, it looks like it looks like yeah, most of if not all of the supplemental features from this uh, is probably on here. Uh, is too damn small a font to honestly read through it all in one go like that. But let's go ahead and uh, pop this thing open. The uh, the two other films included The Unknown and The Mystic. I do not know them uh, at all. I've never seen them. I am a fan of Browning's other work, including, uh, obviously, Freaks and Dracula. So uh, the other two are just kind of, you know, cherries uh, on the top of the cake there. I'm being very careful because I, as always, want to preserve my Criterion uh, sticker there on the front. If I'm going to pay extra for a fancy schmancy release, I'm going to keep all the uh, extra fancy schmancy uh, bits. Right, well, I really want to get this without damaging this damn box. That would be a tragedy. There we go. That'll, that'll just about do it. Alrighty. Like I said, over 90 years for Freaks to get a Blu-ray release. That is absolutely insane. Obviously, Blu-ray did not exist 90 years ago, but you get what I'm saying. A film that's been out that long that doesn't have a Blu-ray release, it's just, it's suspect. It's definitely suspect. Uh, looks like the other films are actually even earlier, 25 to 32. So one of these might even be silent. I don't know. I'm not opposed to silent films, though, so I will check it out. Uh, the packaging, pretty uh, pretty not bad to look at, I will admit. You get a standard notebook-looking uh, booklet included. Looks like the two other films are included on one solo disc, Freaks, on its own disc there. I do like how they are all uh, the circus theme, you know? It does look pretty... Uh, Pretty rad. There you get the back of all three films titles. The side spine. Let's take a closer look at this booklet. Uh, you get the films, uh, something about Todd Browning, and then about the restorations. I don't, I don't honestly care about the restorations. I get it. They scan film in. They clean it up. It's, that's too nerdy for me, man. I am a fan of the films, but I don't really give a shit about how they're cleaning them up in a computer. The cast and credits, a couple still images of the actors. The Unknown. It's apparently him and Lon Chaney teaming up. It could be uh, it could be pretty rad. As I said, I haven't seen either of the other films included. I've only seen Freaks. So these I'm both uh, going into. It looks like this one is silent. Was the other one silent as well? I overlooked that. Looks like they are both silent films. So two silent films and one talkie in Freaks. And who is in the uh, the cast here that no one no one I've ever heard of? Not uh, too uh, unheard of considering the age of the film. Is that the? You get the article on Todd Browning himself, which is apparently quite a hefty one, unless the restoration. Take, oh, look at that. Look at that. Classic. Classic. The human torso. Rolling and lighting his own cigarette. Uh, looks like, yeah, the restoration is in the very back. 
Did I, did I miss it? It looks like that is all for the, that, that. The back page is all for the restoration. And uh, there you have it. There is a in-depth look at the contents of the Todd Browning's Sideshow Shockers, uh, i.e. Freaks on Blu-ray. As I said, I can finally retire my DVD copy, even though it has uh, been very good to me over the years. And there you have it. Uh, are you a fan of Todd Browning's films? Have you ever seen them? I'm fairly certain at least Freaks exists here on YouTube to see. So if you're not a fan, maybe you should check it out. You might find something a bit different that you might be a fan of.